Western leaders piled on military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine on Thursday, with U.S. President Joe Biden calling Russian leader Vladimir Putin a brute and Britain declaring Moscow's invasion of its neighbor as barbarism. At an unprecedented triple summit in Brussels, transatlantic alliance NATO, the G7 wealthy nations and European leaders addressed the continent's worst conflict since the 1990s Balkan Wars. NATO announced new battle groups for four nations in East Europe, while Washington and London increased aid and expanded sanctions to new targets, including a woman London said was the stepdaughter of Russia's foreign minister. Biden told reporters in Brussels that the single most important thing is for Western allies to stay unified against Russia's actions in Ukraine. Germany sent approximately 10,000 metric tons of aid to Ukraine using a recently created rail bridge of trains shuttling back and forth between the two countries. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma has more. Transport Minister Volker Wissing says Germans hope this war is over soon and the government will do everything to ease the suffering and to stand with strength and unity with those who in such a difficult situation defend their country, freedom and demography. While the country's Ukrainian ambassador adds with actions like this, we can be sure that we will not lose this war. The rail link was established two weeks ago to bring much needed food, drinks and hygiene products from Germany to Ukraine. I'm Charles Tuladesma. The European Union is set to unveil steps to wean itself off Russian energy, something likely to drive up fuel costs even further around the continent. North Korea launched what appears to be an intercontinental ballistic missile Thursday, the Japanese and South Korean government said, in what would be Pyongyang's first long-range launch since 2017. Japan's Ministry of Defense says the North Korean missile flew for more than 70 minutes before landing in Japan's exclusive economic zone just 170 kilometers west of northern Japan's Emori Prefecture. The missile reached an altitude of 6,000 kilometers and had a range of 1,100 kilometers, according to Japanese officials who said the weapon appeared to be a new type of ICBM. During an emergency meeting of South Korea's National Security Council, South Korean President Moon Jae-in strongly condemned the launch, saying it violated North Korea's self-imposed moratorium on long-range launches. North Korea has repeatedly warned it is preparing to launch a, mis a military spy satellite. U.S. officials say such a launch would also essentially amount to a long-range missile test and may involve a massive new ICBM. Experts say can carry multiple warheads. North Korea has not launched a satellite since 2016. Its most recent ICBM test was 2017 during the height of tensions between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and former U.S. President Donald Trump. The U.S. State Department has approved the potential sale to Bahrain of M270 multiple launch rocket systems upgrade and related equipment for an estimated cost of $176 million, according to the Pentagon on Thursday. The principal contractor will be the Lockheed Martin Corporation, the Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation, Agent, Cooperation Agency said in a news release. Investigators in China Thursday said the search continues at the mountainside crash site for the data recorder from a Chinese airliner that went down Monday in southern Guangxi province. Meanwhile, officials with the Civil Aviation Administration of China said while the outside casing of the cockpit voice recorder, the first of the two so-called black boxes from the flight recovered Wednesday, was damaged, its contents are in good shape, and the investigators have begun in examining them. The voice recorder contains audio in the cockpit between members of the flight crew, as well as communications with ground crews. The data recorder preserves information on the plane's performance, including airspeed, altitude, system performance, and direction. And recapping our top story, Western leaders have piled on military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine. U U.S. President Joe Biden has been calling the Russian leader Vladimir Putin a brute for his invasion of Ukraine. Britain has denounced the, the action as barbarism.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.